Lost a pair of my best friends yesterday When the soul left ones uh, Today we're going to take the uh, CDM box out of a 90 Corvette. The CDM box is a control data module which most dealerships call a receiver tuner box. Uh, it's located up here under the dash. Uh, it's Everything in the car starts at the car, goes to this box. From this box, it goes to the control unit that's in the, the dash, which everyone believes is a stereo. From the control box, it comes back to the CDM box, and then out to the four Bose speakers and amplifiers. Today we'll need a 7mm socket and a 10mm wrench. There's also a Torx that is involved with some of the screws. And we have a special 90 degree tool that we're going to use to make this job a little easier. First we're going to remove the side panel for the fuse box. Uh, normally there's three Torx screws here on the side. Uh, in this particular instance, I can see that this panel has been off before, and the wrong screws are here. So instead of using the Torx, I can use a 7mm socket. this panel. This will give access to one more screw down here that holds this bottom panel on. I'm going to remove this screw. Now we're going to remove several screws along the bottom here. Now there's a little clip here at the side where we remove the screw. Uh, you want to pull this out so it doesn't pull the panel down. And we're going to pull this carpet back. It's velcroed on. And pull it back to allow this panel to drop down. We're going to pull it down and pull it forward. Okay, we're going to pull this panel down and disconnect the courtesy light. Wiggle this connector loose. And we'll be able to remove this panel and set it to the side. Now the... Uh, CDM tuner box is located right up in here. There are several ways to go about getting this out from this point. There are several connectors that are attached to the panel that goes below the CDM. We're going to uh, pry these connectors down and loose. These connectors all slide sideways to release, pretty much from the uh, clips that are on the bottom of this panel. And removing these connectors down allows better access to the CDM box. And this is all upside down. Uh, see if I can show you a view of this. Now to show a better view of this CDM box, we're going to look up under the dash. We've got all these connectors down and the uh, looking down under the dash here we can see where all these clips remain on this plastic panel and there are two connectors up on the left side of this box which are towards the center console and several connectors over on the uh, opposite side so we're going to remove the connectors from this box before we attempt to remove it there is also a 10 millimeter bolt up on one side. There's also one over on the opposite side on this bottom panel. So we're going to have to uh, put the 10 millimeter socket on this bolt on each side. This will uh, help remove the uh, CDM. We're going to pull this plastic panel down that's on the bottom down and that will allow us to get access to the CDM. Now we have removed the connectors from both sides of the CDM. And we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket and we're going to work these bolts probably one quarter turn, 
maybe even less, on each side to release these 10 millimeter bolts. If this looks like an easy job, this video makes this look like an easy job, or if this video is done in 5 to 10 minutes, uh, it is very misleading because this is not an easy job. There is one 10 millimeter bolt. There is a second 10 millimeter bolt. Now this plastic plate on the bottom below the CDM has a little tongue and groove action going on on both sides. Part of the trick to removing this is to push this plastic piece to release and come down. Let's see if I can get a better picture of this. Okay, we've released this uh, plastic panel below the CDM down. You can see where the uh, uh, groove is pushing this panel back off of the screw that the uh, 10 millimeter bolt goes on and then down releases it through this little L-shaped bracket. Now this, this is on both sides of the CDM. Now this will allow access. The CDM is located right here. And now we're going, there is another tongue and groove here, so we're going to push the CDM back to release that groove. This sort of allows the CDM to pull down. We're going to wiggle this out of here. The antenna is also plugged into this, which we have not unplugged yet. And we pull this CDM right out. Now we have the CDM coming down out underneath, out into this panel. I'm going to pull this down. The antenna is plugged in back here. I don't know if you saw that fall out when we took that out. Hope this video made this look easy. If you have any ex-military experience, if you remember any of the cuss words you used to know, they are coming back when it comes to removing this box. Hope this has been helpful. Re reinstalling this box is more difficult than install than removing it. Uh, with the black panel that goes below the CDM pulled down, you can see where the clips come through the panel. We're going to take a uh, pair of needle nose pliers, squeeze the tabs on the side of this connector or this clip, and push it through. Now, these are the clips that uh, slide off of the connectors. If you look closely at the connectors, there's a little slide here, and this clip will go back into the slide on the connector. We've slid the clip back onto the connector. When we put the uh, CDM box back in, we're just going to take all these connectors and snap them back into the plastic cover into all the openings that are on this cover once we remove all these clips and put them back on the connectors. Okay, we've gone through and put all the clips back on the connectors. These will all snap back in when you go to put the, uh, after you've put the uh, tuner receiver box back in. Uh, a couple of the keys here when it comes to installing this is the antenna is usually hidden in, up in the top here. The antenna should be plugged into the box first, uh, which goes into this opening. There is a pin on the end of the tuner box that fits into an opening that's back up in the dash or towards the dash towards the back here. Let me see. We're going to put the box in, slide it up around and get it in and put it all back together. Hope this video has been helpful. This is one of our most favorite jobs on Corvette. Hope you've enjoyed it as well. Lost a pair of my best friends yesterday